three, two. What's up guys? It's Friday night and guess what? I am going to be posting up another video so you don't have to wait. Isn't that awesome? I think that's fucking awesome. Sorry about the cursing, but hey, you get what it, you know, what it is. So tonight, being that it's Friday and that it's Mother's Day on Sunday, I figured that I would try to put out as much as readings I can because I'm going to be busy this weekend. We have a lot going on. Um, I have uh, my mom and I have my sisters that are moms, so you know how that works. Is it raining? Yeah. It really started raining Gosh, on this. Holy shit. All right, so if it keeps drizzling, I'll keep going. But if it starts thunderstorming, I'm out of here. So tonight's reading I'm going to do is for the Sagittariuses, which is a good thing and um, an awesome thing, actually, because I'm Sagittarius. And I know a lot of the Sagittariuses are like, why are we always at the end? I don't know. I always ask myself that every day. Why am I always at the end? Why is it that everybody around me always goes through these things and then I'm sitting there watching like, hmm, wow. Guess what? Because you're a seer. Sagittarius just introduced to you what you are. Me being a personal Sagittarius. My son is in Sag. Um, you're a seer. So that's another thing if you're interested in, um, like I always mention, let me know and I'll teach you more about your birth chart. So let's get into tonight's reading. It's for Sagittarius. And uh, to all the mom Sagittariuses, happy Mother's Day. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification button. So this way you guys know when I post up my videos. So let's ask the universe what's in store for Sag. I'm kind of excited because I kind of want to know what the heck's been going on. There's a lot been going on in my life. So I wonder, you know, what the cards have to say. All right, universe. What do you have for Sagittarius this weekend coming? So, Sagittarius, this is going to be our reading for this weekend coming. I'm so excited because I kind of like feel like a part of it because it's like me too. So, all right, universe, what do you have for Sagittarius for this weekend coming? What's going on in our love life? I know I'm interested in knowing about that one. What's going on around us? What's going on in our life, period? Why the hell can't we move forward, cards? What the heck? Sorry, guys. Little venting session. Universe, can I get, please, three cards? Three cards for Sagittarius is on what's happened, what's going on, and what's to come. Three cards. I kind of do, but I don't. I kind of want to leave thee there. Oh, what is this? Hold on. Something about the moon, guys. Hold on. The strength card. Knight of Swords and Knight Knight of Swords and King of Swords. Alright guys, don't get mad because I'm a sad, so I'm just gonna do this. So normally I don't like to pick out what's what's being um dropped like that, like a story wise, but I kinda wanna do this because I wanna know what's going on with me. And you guys, of course. Not that I'm selfish, you know, because us sages are not vain at all. Are we? No. Yeah, we are. All right, so moon sign. Something's going to happen during the moon time. So right now I know there's like, I think there's a new moon or something that came out. So moon sign. Hmm. Something is going to be revealed during the moon time period. And it has to do with a water sign. You see the little crab? Well, no, it's a lobster. Lobster in the water. There we go, guys. So Sages, who do you have in your life that's a water sign? Something's about to be revealed about them. I have a water sign in my life, and I'm waiting to see what's revealed about that one right there. There you go. Next is the sign of strength. This could also mean Leo, the sign of strength, or you're getting your strength back. You're getting your power back from whatever was going on with the cancer sign. Why did I just say cancer? Holy shit. Whoa. Whoa. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the water sign. So if there's a Sag out there dealing with a Cancer, I don't know about this. Maybe you should read this. Read into this a little bit more and see what's going on. So this card right here is a Leo card. The strength card, meaning you see how she's petting the lion, how she's like, you know, holding him like she has authority over him and she's so loving and kind and she's so generous. And it's like the lion's just like, yeah, I love you. Yeah, that's if you have... Any uh, fire in your chart? I mean, you're already fire sign as it is as a Sagittarius, but that's if you have a Leo in your chart or a Leo around you. This is what's going on right now. You have a Leo in your midst or you are a Leo and you're either embodying the strength that you have, you're taking your power back, 
or there's a Leo in your midst that's taking your power from you. So that's the two categories that we have right now. You're either the person that's taking the strength back. Now, I'm a side sun with a Leo rising. When I look at this card, this is telling me that I'm taking my strength back. But it's also a little crazy because the person I'm dealing with is a Leo rising just like me. So that person could be taking their strength back as well, or the situation could be balanced. And if you guys want to know about the Leo risings and the Leo moons, message me and I'll tell you. So it gets a little deeper. Moving on, you have the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is the card that I think of when I think of Knight of Swords. I think of air sign. I think of messages coming in. I think of not quick moving as a fire sign, but more of a, of a guy that's ready to go in. I mean, of course, he's, he's the knight. He's, he's always ready. What do the knights always do? Every time the king asks them to proceed with something, they never question. They went forward. This is the type of person who doesn't ask questions, doesn't say anything. When they want something, they go forward. This also means that there's messages coming towards you that are very quick. And also about the Knight of Swords, I think he's a really awesome guy, kind of like a Prince Charming, you know, knight in, in shining armor, if he's like this. Thank God we didn't get him like this, because if he was like this, he'd be a real asshole. So this is a good thing, that whoever is coming is the knight in, sh in shining armor. Which is really funny, because I also listen to other readings, and I pay attention. I'll, for many sages, the, the, the knight in shining armor is coming, and this is a proof. This is the same card the other readers have pulled out, and you're getting in your reading as well, too. So check it out. Now, next we have is the king of swords. It's like you go from the knight, then you go to the king. So what this is telling me, that there is somebody in the future that is a king of swords who has everything together. Also, more messages coming in. Messages of passion, mess messages of compassion, messages, you know, that are, that are basically saying, you know what, I, I feel the same way you do, or in the sense we're on the same page. Only reason I say that is because when you look at a king, a king in everyone's eyes is what? Someone who has everything in order. If you are a king, you have everything in order. Your kingdom, your subjects, your knights, your queen, and everything else. So you having the king of swords in the future card says that either you have everything in order, because right now you don't have your shit together and it's coming in order, or there's a, a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra coming in, like the knight of swords, coming in to rescue you. I know the ladies are like, finally, my knight in shining armor. But Sagittarius says, are we really like that? No, we make our own shit happen, as you know. We don't wait for no shining armors and knights and Cinderella crap. No, we drive ourselves. We do what we need to do. So now, since that's done, that was like an extra kind of like, you know, bonus because it's a massage. The other cards that you have is death in reverse. Oh my God, another guy pulled this today. I can't believe I'm sharing this with you, but if you, okay, if you guys like readings, tarot readings, please check out Cancer Moon Tarot. He is so good. He's so awesome. He's always on point. And he does this, like, like I, I like, he does this, like, daily readings that I'm actually thinking about doing because I've been inspired by him. He does these daily readings and they're always on point. And with those, he also had pulled out a death card in reverse. Now, death in reverse means that you and I have avoided a disaster. So whoever we liked... The truth came out. We got our strength. We're avoiding it because apparently some messages went across and, you know, either they weren't answered or something happened in the sense where, guess what? We avoided a disaster. Am I saying that word correctly? Disaster. 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 Yeah. Dude, seriously. Disaster. Avoided. Dodged the bullet. Like, hello. Bye, Felicia. Yeah, like, this basically kind of says in a sense that if you continue talking to this person or continue having contact with this person, the, the, the consequences of it, or, or like, it wouldn't end, and it, it wouldn't end greatly. And as Sag you, we always want to be happy. So yeah, and ending with this person would not leave us happy. Like most Sag we have a situation where, if, and if you're cross-watching a Sag, please don't get upset with this, but Sag have a tendency of our exes, we're always friends with them. And the reason behind it is not that we're attracted to them still or we have feelings for them. Is that it's the fact that, you know what, we, it's over with. We actually get over things. We don't hold grudges. We don't hold resentments. That's why out of the 12 zodiac signs, Sag is honestly the only one that's the, mo the most forgiving. Two-second rebound rate, meaning you get mad, 
you rebound right back up like okay you know what it's okay so keep that in, in, in mind guys so if you're holding a grudge against someone or if you're being resentment towards someone remember who you are you're a Sag we don't do that we're optimistic we love everybody and I know sometimes people have a hard time understanding that but that's just how we are it's how we're made we're made of love the Ju Jupiter is our ruler. Jupiter rules over Sagittarius and Jupiter is about love and expansion and, and new things and, and bridging moments and, and, and beginnings. Remember who you are. I kind of want to um, name this reading, remember who you are. That actually might be good. So yeah, so guys, so you're dealing with death and reverse, meaning it's a good thing. You're avoided a disaster. Ooh, third party situation. Uh, yeah, that's why I backed up. There's a third party situation anyways but this card normally means third party situation either the person that you are dealing with had a third party or you have a third party and that's what's going on that is the reason why the high priestess is in reverse when the high priestess is in reverse it's basically lack of knowing lack of seeing like it's in front of you but you refuse to see it Oh my God, yeah, you guys are talking to me, aren't you? So yeah, whatever's going on, we have to be more aware of it. We have to pay more attention to it because it's like, um, it's like you're paying attention to B, right? A, B, and C, right? You're paying attention to B and C and A got stolen away. Keep your eyes on everything. Don't put your eggs in one basket. Don't believe everything you hear. Don't go by everything you see. Always keep a room open for error. Okay, don't be black and white in the situation. And then some of you, I kind of want to say, yes, be black and white. If you see what you're seeing, if the person is like, you know, like not like in for you or if a job situation is not in for you, coworkers are not for you, see it as it is. Take the step back. You don't have to say anything about it. You don't have to complain about it. Just avoid that situation. And she had the death in reverse. You avoided it. So that's what it is. I kind of want to pull one more card just to see what the outcome of all of this is. And tonight, actually, guys, I did a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven card reading. I normally do three card readings, so this was interesting. This is probably one of my longest readings, too. So the next card here is we have, there we go. One, two, three, four of swords. You're taking a rest. Hermit mode. Well, not hermit mode, but like you're, you're done. You've taken enough beatings. You've taken enough swords. Every time you try, it's like, it's like, okay, why? Why did I even try? That's what's going on right now. I think we need to uh, sit in this and be in this. I just want to pull another card out just to see if there's, because I, I don't, I, I want it to be a happy ending, not a like a negative ending. But at the moment right now, a lot of us, uh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius sun, Sagittarius moon, Sagittarius rising, Sagittarius Venus, we're taking a, a like a, a sit down on this. Like, you know what? Go ahead. Do what you want to do. You hurt me enough. You done danced on my heart enough. Do what you want to do. I'm going to chill out for now. I'm okay. And then when we do, the chariot comes. Things start to actually move forward. So I guess moral of the story tonight is take a chill pill. Tell them to do whatever they want. And then the chariot moves moves forward also Sagittarius this is another fire sign so it seems like um, you had two fire signs in here so whoever you're dealing with is a fire sign a uh, fellow fire sign just like you just um, keep an eye open and be forgiving be forgiving because you know what sometimes people go through things and um, it's not them going through things it's 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 the influences around them that are putting them through them things so I, I always say as a Sagittarius be open be honest be accepting and just be you. Be real. And make sure you love as much as you can. So, Saggies. I hate saying that, though. Saggies. Sagittarians, this was your reading. I hope you guys liked it. Next up is going to be Capricorn. I can't wait to see what's in store for you guys. Again, guys, please like and subscribe. And um, hit the notification button so this way it tells you when I post up. Um, a lot of times it helps if you if you look at the, um, the, the page itself. It says subscribe. And next to the subscribe button. Um, words it's the uh the notification bell hit that bell and i'll tell you every time i post up i'm going to try to post up as much as i can um and in the meantime please check out my instagram it's at noshi lightwork af and i hope you guys like it thank you guys